Kathy. And we're going to talk to you about keeping kids busy during this time of year and keeping kids active indoors. Michelle? Hi, I'm Michelle. And ways to keep them busy is, well, right now kids are on computers at least six hours a day because of school, because most kids are right now in school at home. So it's encouraged to like, the kids should take at least five to 10 minutes movement breaks every, throughout the day. Now possible, possible different activities could be jumping jacks, follow the leader, running in place, or animal walks. And what I mean by animal walks is, you say, hey Johnny, let me see you walk like a crap. Or hey Johnny, let me see you walk like a dog. And another way to do this is, what you can do is, you take pop popsicle sticks or small notebook cards, note notebook cards, and you write an activity on it and you put it in a little bag and they pick out an activity. They don't know what it is, so it's kind of a surprise. And I read it and they're like, Hoo! so they have to do the activity, what they see in that card. It gives them a surprise and it gives them something to do that's spontaneous and it gets their body moving in between classes. And the moving is so important to keep mm -hmm. the kids under control, happy, and have a happy afternoon and happy evening. Yes, for all of you. But for everybody, yes. And there's also, you can do miniature dance parties, which you only have five, 10 minutes, but you can get a lot of dancing done in five or 10 minutes, let me tell you. Get the right song on, your bodies are moving, and it's fun. And adults, please participate. Yes, please. It's good for us to move, yes. dance, yes. smile, be happy with yes. your kids, with your family. Yes, please. And I created what's called a foot game, foot hand game. It's like Twister, and this is how you do it. So, you can make a card. You make the cards yourself. You can do this with your child, with either tracing your hand or your child's hand, and your foot or their feet, and you decorate the cards. Now, you either tape them or glue them onto a piece of paper and contact paper them, because they look like this. So they put the hand on the paper and you contact paper them. Because then what you do is you do like Twister. You either put two hands on or it might say a foot hand or it might say two feet and you go through, it's kind of like hopscotch too, and you go through a line. And the kids love this because I've done it in class here. And what you can also do is let them mix them all up and they go through and they mix them up and they jump around on them and do all kinds of things with them. I you can use it as a skill as a matching and sequencing. It's a great game. It's a fun way to get the whole family together, to work together, to make things together, and get your body moving. Older kids and preteens, preteens, teens can do a little bit fancier uh, activity. So they can do some squats. And so, you know, you don't want to kill them, but you know, they can do three squats, three push-ups, three sit-ups, jump rope for um, three minutes. And then uh, there's always things that they can learn and do from YouTube. So the, the idea is to really keep, them, keep people busy, keep kids busy, and then you have happy kids and you have happy families. So, Michelle, other activities you can do is you can create your own puzzles and this can go from little to big, depending on their age. You can draw the puzzle pieces on, like just put a line through the, a piece of paper, have them draw and color on each section, and then cut it, and then glue them together, or tape them together. Um, you can also take more advanced. You can take an actual puzzle, put it together, flip it over, and have them design or paint the back of the puzzle and take it apart and then they can put together, together their own puzzle from what they made on their side. Um, you could also put a regular puzzle together and glue it together and make it and frame it. There's a bunch of things you can do with that. So you can also uh, you can make some things like a happiness box, radioactive space rocks. You can go out on a hunt around the house. And so maybe you hide um, graham crackers or maybe you have rocks and you hide, you have certain color rocks that you hide around the house. And then there, it's really good if you have a reward for the, whoever finds the most things that were hidden. 
And then the last thing is make slime. Everybody seems to like to make slime. And so, um, and there's lots of recipes that you can find online for that. So, for activities, um, drive in the theater, where you can make your own cars. The little ones can make their own cars out of boxes. You can make them out of laundry baskets. Um, you can um, then put blankets and stuff in them. Turn your TV, it becomes the drive-in theater. You can get um, make popcorn and stuff and make concession stands. Um, you can just turn your whole living room or bedroom or wherever you're at into a little movie theater. And they love to do that. They love to do that. You can create your own private war and your own private heroes. You can make... Uh, Every kid could be one of a superhero, and maybe they can make their own new name for the superhero they want to be. They can train and act like a spy, they can hide. Everybody has to hide, and the, and the spy is going to find them. And it says the spy is the dangerous person, so hide from the spy. Um, a happiness box, so everything that makes you happy. Um, cookies, <laughs> TV. Bicycles, going outside. Um, kids can come up with some great things that make you happy, and also um, they can. It makes them more active uh, to actually do hands-on things. Yeah. And I want to tell you the radioactive rocks too. Um, <laughs> the way you do for that is you take um, tin foil, the tin foil you, you wrap things in, and you make them um, scratch it up into a ball. And you take um, any kind of box or um, laundry basket or stuff, and you put it far away, and you use tongs because they're radioactive. You don't touch them, and you run and you have them grab them, and you run or walk wherever, and you try to put them in the other basket without touching it under a minute. So it's a movement, run fast, and you might want to do this outside depending on bigger houses, but it's a way to get them moving around and using their imagination and laughing. And laughing. And having fun yes. during this yes. time, this kind of time. Yes. And again, we have tons of links on the web for it. There's tons of YouTube things that I also put on there. Um, you can actually go to a virtual Disney World and ride the rides. I actually went on there and tested it. And it was quite amazing. Um, there is tons of things, tons of things I put on there for you to look at and to go to find things to explore with your children. And I want to thank you for coming to our activities day. Thank and I you. want you to have fun with yes. your kids. Bye. Bye.